contrary to popular belief, I was not abducted by aliens for their probing experiments. I was, in fact, living in this plastic bubble, which you can see. Um, the, the bay of my workshop that I used to record my YouTube videos in has been uh, wrapped in this polyurethane plastic uh, for the purpose of the spray painting, and that's been for the past year approximately. But I'm happy to say that uh, I'm going to tear this all down today and it's going to be the reboot of schematics in, the, in some sort of way and my videos are going to start back up, it's going to be cool. So a lot of my viewers will be familiar with this backdrop and what's going to happen here, we're going to tear down all the plastic that's just everywhere basically and this bench is going to go. So uh, let's get into it. Okay, so now the bench has been cut away and removed. Now I've got a big open space and I've just gone ahead and cut a whole bunch of 100 by 50. I've got a couple of sheets of plywood over there and we're going to make a workbench on wheels that I can move around in this uh, large area. Alright, so workbench is all finished. I'll put a PVC mat over the top, it's also chemical resistant, It'll be a great backdrop for doing my videos on. Uh, as you know the bench is on wheels so I can just move this around the workshop wherever I need it to frame shots. Um, so now I've got to tear down all this plastic I had up as my temporary spray booth. And while I'm up the ladder, tearing the plastic down, you can see my LED lights that I used for illuminating my workspace for recording have started to all pack up around the same time. So they need to be replaced. And I went to my local electronics store, shout out to JCar, and they had these on clearance. They are more designed for automotive use, but they are a 25 watt LED flood lamp and quite a nice machined alloy housing and I got four of these and that should do nicely so cue the montage
Well, that's one wall down. Now I've got to go onto this one. So through the magic of video editing, this wall is now done as well. Uh, I've finished pulling away the power outlets so I can paint behind them and just finished masking up the floor. So now it's time to paint the wall. So now the wall has had two coats of white paint, now it's time to think about a design. I've drawn something up on my computer which I'll throw up on the screen down below. And I was thinking of ways to get the design from on my computer to on the wall. And I thought well perhaps I could get it cut out of vinyl which it certainly could, however it would be expensive so that's not really in my budget at the moment. Um, I could also measure out all the lines I need to paint but that would be very time consuming and then the brilliant idea actually came from my wife which said well hey what well, you've got a projector sitting around doing nothing why don't you project the image onto the wall and then use masking tape around the lines so that's what we're going to do so there is the image projected onto the wall um, I do have to do this on an overcast day so that the pattern shows up well enough that I can trace it and in regards to scaling, it was just a matter of, um, for instance, knowing how long this entire line is and then measuring that with a tape measure and either moving the projector forward or back from the wall so that the image is scaled to the wall properly. So I've gone ahead and done that and now I can start masking everything off. So after all this time we're finally at the finishing line. I've got a nice new studio, I've got my lights installed so I'm well illuminated as well as my workspace. I've also invested in some new camera and audio equipment as well so that my videos will look and sound better than ever. And um, you might also notice that uh, my artwork on the back's changed a bit and I had a bit of a disaster. So after painting uh, the wall with the black paint and removing the masking tape I noticed that uh, the black paint had bled underneath the masking tape and there wasn't a nice clean edge on the entire wall so I had to repaint the wall in white and this time I wasn't going to risk the same disaster happening twice so I cut out some carbon fibre style vinyl and made some strips and circles and then made the artwork on my wall this way uh, and also finished off the wall with a um, acrylic machined out schematic sign right behind me there. So um, that about wraps it up really. The studio is ready for recording and actually it's turning into a bit of a um, baking show because here's one I prepared earlier. This is going to be the first project in the new studio and it's an induction heating gun. Doesn't that just sound cool? So that video is already uploaded and if you want to check it out click on the link that's popped up in the corner. Thank you very much for being patient while all this has been going on and I hope to be churning out a lot more videos in the future. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.